Hi everyone, my name is Joanne Gabriel and I'm back with a couple of prophetic words for the body of Christ. Now, the Lord wants me to put all of these words into one video because they're all related. So the first prophetic warning the Lord wants me to release is this. Worldwide famine is coming to the land, but there will be a distinction. So similar to what happened with the Israelites that were living in the land of Goshen during the time where the Lord was sending plagues right to the land of Egypt because Pharaoh wasn't letting the people go, the Lord is saying there will be a distinction. So I just want to quickly read Exodus chapter 9 verse 4, but it says here, but the Lord will make a distinction between the livestock of Israel and that of Egypt so that no animal belonging to the Israelites will die. Instructions always come before destruction, right? So the Lord is speaking to the body of Christ right now. We all need to start a fruit and vegetable garden. And if you're wealthy, you know, if you're doing well and you have income, you need to go buy land. You need to go buy land where you can farm. Why? Because the Lord said there will be a distinction. So the Lord said that when this worldwide famine is in effect, right? Non-believers are going to be coming to the church. Non-believers are going to be coming to believers to get food, to get resources, to get water, right? During this famine, because we're going to be prepared. So guys, the Lord is saying to the body of Christ, prepare for the famine, start your garden, buy land, you know, do what you need to do. So in addition to this, we need to be stocking up on dry goods and bottled water. So everybody, a part of this ministry, Faith and Favor, I already sent out via email the things we need to stock up on. So I'm going to put the screenshot somewhere over here. So guys, start stocking up on these items and prepare for the famine. Now, the next word the Lord wants me to, you know, release is pertaining to the upcoming wealth transfer, the wealth transfer. So this is the word of the Lord. The wealth transfer is not exclusive to a certain age group. People as young as 16 years old and as old as 60 will be rewarded with wealth. So the Lord gave me this revelation as I was reading 2 Kings chapter 14 verses 21 through 22. So it says here, Then all the people of Judah took Azariah, who was 16 years old, and made him king in place of his father Amaziah. He was the one who rebuilt Elath and restored it to Judah after Amaziah rested with his ancestors. So Azariah became king at 16 years old and he also rebuilt Elath. When you look up Elath in the concordance, Elath is a grove of lofty trees and it was a part of the northeast arm of the Red Sea. Now we all know that the Red Sea is where, you know, God parted the waters for the Israelites to go through and get deliverance from the Egyptians, right? So this is very, very important. So the Red Sea basically symbolizes a place of miracles, okay? So after I got this revelation, right, the Holy Spirit had me research what route the Israelites took to, you know, make it to the Red Sea and get deliverance from the Egyptians, right? So the Israelites actually left Goshen. Remember, Goshen was the place where, you know, they were set apart and none of the plagues touched them. The Israelites left Goshen from the southeast, okay? So, so their route to deliverance was the southeast, okay? So this means that Goshen was in the southeast. So Goshen represents, right, a place of safety and security, okay? So the Lord finally spoke to me and gave me revelation about the east wind. I've been prophesying, right, that the east wind is going to be bringing divine prosperity and divine judgment. Now, this is where the confirmation is going to come. The Lord revealed to me that the northeast wind, right, the northeast is where the miracles took place. You know, the Israelites got deliverance. The northeast wind is going to be bringing in prosperity, harvest, abundance, and everlasting favor. Sorry, y'all, my selfie light died, but I'm going to keep going because I need to release this. So the northeast wind represents, you know, abundance, harvest, prosperity. Now the southeast wind, right, because the, the Israelites left Goshen, a place of security, going southeast, right? So the Lord revealed to me that the southeast wind is bringing judgment, okay? This is confirmation. So thus saith the Lord, the Lord says, the northeast wind will bring the divine prosperity and the wealth transfer for my children, while the southeast wind will bring my divine judgment. So again, the Israelites left Goshen, a place with supernatural immunity, to go into the wilderness for 40 years and meet judgment, right? Versus the northeast, right, which is where that, that, that lofty grove of trees were, right, next to the Red Sea, which symbolizes miracles, right? So this is confirmation. So to bring this all together, right, 
Your divine prosperity is tied to obedience. The Lord said to prepare for this famine. If you're wealthy, you need to go buy land. Why? Because non-believers, secular, thank you, Holy Spirit, secular grocery stores, they're going to be coming to the church to purchase food, right? So if you're the one selling them that stuff from your land, you're going to be making money, right? So the divine prosperity is tied to obedience, guys. Start the garden. Start investing. You know, do what God is calling you to do. Start the business because right now, This is the season of divine prosperity and divine judgment. I feel the Holy Spirit. Okay, now the last thing the Lord wants me to speak on is actually pertaining to the divine judgment. Okay, so we just read that King Azariah became king at 16 years old. If you keep reading 2 Kings 15, you're going to read that he actually fell into idolatry, right? As a result, the Lord did this. So this is 2 Kings chapter 15, verse 5. The Lord afflicted the king with leprosy until the day he died. So as I read this verse, the Lord revealed to me one of his, you know, methods of issuing judgment in this season, right? So this is the word of the Lord. We will see incurable skin diseases. This will be a form of judgment for idolatry. So the Lord is warning the body of Christ right now. If you have idolatry in your heart, if you're worshiping celebrities, pastors, prophets, you know, all these things, if you're worshiping these things above God, right? As a form of judgment, he's going to be sending incurable skin diseases, okay? The Lord is now giving us a warning and a chance to repent, okay? So if you're putting anything above God, pastors, false prophets, you know, celebrities, social media, whatever it is, whatever you're putting above God, whatever you're worshiping more than God is an idol. And we all need to repent because the Lord is saying, One of his forms of judgment for idolatry will be incurable skin diseases. Just like with King, um, just like with King Azariah until the day he died, he had leprosy. Okay. So I'm telling you guys, we're in the season of divine prosperity and divine judgment and the judgment is going to be serious. So guys, please take heed to these prophetic warnings and prophetic instructions, you know, buy the land, start the business, repent, repent, repent guys, because The Lord is moving in this hour and you want to be found on the right side of history. Just like it says in 2 Chronicles chapter 20, believe in God's true prophets and you will be successful. So please guys, listen to the word of the Lord and obey. Okay, God bless you guys.